What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we are bringing you guys a Defiant Braviary team for Ranked Regulation Age. Now, when it comes to Braviary, I actually haven't used this Pokemon in Scarlet and Violet yet, which is one of the few Pokemon that I haven't showcased considering I made hundreds and hundreds of videos on competitive Pokemon in Scarlet and Violet. So this one's going to be fun. I used Braviary in past generations such as Sword and Shield, and it was actually really good in a Dynamax format. So I actually see it being pretty decent in this format so hopefully we get to rock out with it grab some wins for you guys all that good stuff but let's talk about braviary a little bit more in depth like we already mentioned it's got defiant as its ability it's rocking a covert cloak as item it is a normal and flying type pokemon it's got grass terror type with brave bird close combat it also has tailwind obviously as a bird i feel like you must have tailwind and then protect for your fourth and final move other Pokemon on today's team features Extra and Titar, one of my favorite weather combos of all time. Extra super strong with Sand Rush, doubling its speed in Sand Storm. Clear Amulet as item. It's got the Stellar Terror type with high horsepower, Iron Head, EQ, and Protect. Tyranitar, on the other hand, pretty normal build for it with Sand Stream and Assault Vest. Obviously, it's got the Flying Terror type, pair up with Extra and its Earthquake. And then you got Rock Slide, Knock Off, Low Kick, and Terror Blast. Our final three Pokemon on today's team are really dope Pokemon that I feel like everybody loves. Gardevoir with Telepathy and Life Orb. You got Salamence with Scope Lens and Focus Energy so we can set up that, you know, 100% critical hit chance with Draco Meteor if we just get off one Focus Energy. And then last but not least, we got Choice Specs Rotom Mo with Levitate, Discharge, Leaf Storm, Volt Switch, and Trick. Guys, you want to run this team for yourself? Run the code is at the top right hand corner. And if you do enjoy today's video, don't forget to smash that like button and subscribe to the channel. But without further ado, let's hop into match number one showcasing this Brave Yari team. First match on its way, going up against a Hisui and Decidueye Trick Room team. They got Indeedee, Ursaluna, Y Guard, Gallade, and on top of that, they got Torkoal and Hatterene. All right, so how do we want to play this one? We obviously don't want to set up Tailwind. That's a big no no. That is something we don't want to do right here. But I could go into like Guard of War, considering if they set the terrain, we could always just. Use expanding force in there. I mean, with the life orb, really nice. I could go into extra drill. That's not bad as well, especially with the steel typing. I can freely EQ if they're not going for wide guards. I could set up a focus energy as well. A lot of different options. I feel like focus energy is probably the route we want to go. What's your terror type, Salamence? Steel. I was really hoping it was like fire, but I mean, you're already not very effective with the Torkoal. You know what? We're going to go in with Salamence here. On top of that, we could trick somebody in the choice specs, which would be bad to waste out a trick room turn. Hmm. What are my options here? I got a few. I got a few. I kind of want to go Braviary, but I don't want to lead Braviary. I think Braviary is solid for late game, which we're definitely going to give it a try. But going to go here. Um, I could just go T-Tar for the lead. That's not bad. Or I could go Extra. Let's go Extra. Let's go in with a heavy hitter with EQ. We'll do that. We'll bring Braviary, and last but not least, we will bring Gardevoir. I feel like Gardevoir can work really well, especially up against the Pokemon who are not Psychic. Because obviously, they definitely want to set their terrain. So if I can just, like, you know, get out Gardevoir at the right time, especially if we can waste out Trick Room turns, Gardevoir would obviously be faster than all those Pokemon. Expanded Force can launch and do some big time damage, especially Stab and Life Orb. What more can you ask for? Let's see. Who are you rocking? Indeedee and Hatterene? No, Indeedee Gallade. Didi Galade, Galad, Galibilaba Lubilaba. All right, Intimidate Flies. Uh, you are physical attack, which is good, but you got clear amulet, which also sucks. Um, I feel like you have to go follow me, Trick. I feel like that's just a must. I feel like that's a must. Correct. Special defense boost. You gotta go focus energy here. Do I Terrasize? Probably not yet. I feel like you have to go Trick here. I feel like that has to be your play. So I'm gonna send an EQ. I'm gonna go into a nice, lovely. Oh, there's a Y guard. That's fine. I mean, Y guard comes out here. We get off focus energy. I knew they had Y guard, but I wasn't expecting them to use Y guard this early. I thought it was more so a follow me truck and play. So they'll block an EQ. No big deal. Whatever. It's whatever. And I'll get off truck room. All right, cool. That's fine. I got steel terror type. I can start launching Draco meteors here. I can start spamming Draco meteors. The Y guard's gonna block the EQ. Truck room flies. Fine. Cool. Go ahead, do that. You know what we're going to do first and foremost? We're going to start wasting out these turns because you're not swapping in DD. We're just going to double protect here. Make it simple. Make it cool. I feel like you want to go after my what's it called, though. We're just going to double protect regardless. Should we double protect? Actually, there's a chance you don't swap. I'm just going to rip an EQ again. If you Y guard, you Y guard. That's just wasting turns. 
I'm just gonna protect my Salamence, so because I feel like you gotta drop a fairy move here. I feel like you have to drop a fairy move here. I'm just protecting Salamence. Yeah, I like that call. I like that call a lot. Thing is, it, like, I don't want to double protect just in case you want to swap somebody. There is that off chance. But at the same time, I feel like you're just going to double down into Salamence. Or just go for follow me and attack Salamence. There's a Psycho Cut. Blocked. Block that Psycho Cut, baby. And you're going to go for a lowering voice. Guess what? Blocked. Good call on my end. Great call on my end. Not to go for a double protect. I still have Terror type, which is pretty solid for us. EQ's gonna launch. Do respectable damage, especially into the Glade. And from here, I could just Thrash Slice and launch Heat Wave, or I could just launch a Draco Meteor. I mean, you're probably going for Psycho Cut. How many turns are left in Trick Room? That's the real question. We got three. I can use one here, protect the next turn. Kind of waste out this Trick Room rather well. Yeah, I'm gonna use my Terror type here. I'm gonna launch this here. And we're gonna go for higher horsepower to finish off the Skullade. Uh, so, yeah, we can't use EQ anymore next to our Salamence. Our Salamence is just gonna get ripped up with a Steel Typing. But, I like this Terror type. We're gonna send it now. Again, we're trying to waste out Trick Room turns, more importantly. Like, getting off some KOs here is nice, but if I can waste out these Trick Room turns, that's what we wanna do here. So, we still have Braviary, which is nice. They still have Terror type, which is a little scary. Sacred Sword's gonna fly here. Ouch. That did some damage. A bit too much damage. And you're gonna go for a lowering voice? Yep, lowering voice gonna pop out here. It's gonna do negative five. I was hoping you would have went for Psycho Cut again. Draco Meteor launches. It's a crit. We got that focus energy. We got the scope lens. We love it. My special attack chops, but who cares? We're gonna be critting. We're gonna be critting. So you got Sacred Sword ready to fly. Um our best bet is to just obviously to protect our Protect our Salamence and drop a expanded force. Ursaluna is gonna fly out here, which is oh so scary. What do I do here? Do we do we think they're gonna pop Y Guard? There is a chance you pop Y Guard. Sacred Sword's going to rip up into me. We're gonna double protect here. We're just gonna double protect just to see what he wants to do. Gotta read out the situation. Let's just read it out, because they could pop wide guard, you never know. I mean, reading out the situation is going to be nice. It could also terrestrialize. I would have loved to drop an expanded force this turn. They might even go for the read. I honestly probably should have just attacked with Salamence. And protect Gardevoir. We could have read them going for a read, because they're, they might just double down into into what's called here. Okay, they protect their Selena. Wow, we could have just dumped on this Glade. Could just dumped on this guy. I feel like he has to be attacking guard over here rather than Salamence. But still, we're protecting. We out these turns slowly. Slowly, slowly. He wants to pop guts here. And he's gonna go psycho cut into the guard over slot. Yeah, so we could have popped freely here. Now we could go from Y for Y guard and just like EQ here, which would be terrifying. I feel like we have to try to go for Jerky Meteor. I could end up swapping him into like Braviary. That might be a better player for us. Let's swap him into Braviary. And let's try to get off an Expanded Force. Because I feel like you have to go for a ground move in this slot. You have to go for a ground move. So yeah, we're going we're gonna to swap Salamence into Braviary. And I'm going to go for... Hmm, I'm going to go for the Expanded Force. It's in the terrain. I'm going to send it. I'm just hoping you don't go for Y Guard. I really don't. I really do not. So there's this facade's gonna launch. That's fine. I mean, we die out to that. Braviary should be able to soak up whatever you got to offer, Glade, correct? Sacred Sword? Yeah, all day. So we're able to soak that up. Wow, that did a lot of damage. And Burn's gonna trickle up some damage. So we're able to get back out Salamence. I could go for a focus energy. Um, hmm. I could just go for a heat wave. If I wanted to. We think Heat Wave's gonna I don't think Heat Wave's gonna KO this Glade though. That's my that's my whole issue. That's my whole issue here. That is my whole issue. Definitely wanna go close combat here. I'm gonna drop a Drake Meteor in this slot. We're gonna have to honestly hope it's a double KO. 
Which I don't think Coach Kama can KO the Ursaluna, which is a slight problem on her hands. Slight problem. So Braviar is here to play. It's here. Let's see what they want to end up doing. I probably should have read and just taken out the Glade, but we're going to be able to get rid of the Glade regardless here. Alright, so Ndidi's... Right, right, we took out Ndidi. Yeah, we took out Ndidi with a Draco Meteor. They still have one more Pokemon late game. Draco Meteor's going to launch. It is going to take out you. Awesome dope. Um, I would love to get off of Focus Energy, though. Would be very nice. Would be very nice for us. Close combat. How much damage are you doing? Get a crit or something. Do him dirty. Not enough. Not stab. Not enough. Headlong Rush going to fly through here to take out my Salamence? Most likely. Facade. Okay, hold up. Still doing damage. Still doing damage, but giving us another chance to stay on the field. Who's your final Pokemon? That's the real question. Facade came out here. Really? Hatterene. That's the problem. I don't think we can take out Hatterene. I do not think we can take out Hatterene. I feel like our only way of potentially taking out Hatterene. You're going to protect Ursa Luna, though. You have to protect Ursa Luna. You have to protect Ursa Luna. I got to hope that I can KO here. I have to I have to read the Ursa Luna Protect. That's the only way we win this match. I have to read Ursa Luna Protect. And hope that it actually pulls off. And then Brave Bird and go into, I guess, a Heat Wave here. Would be your best bet. Minus two. And hope that I can KO. That's the only way. There's the Ursa Luna Protect. Can we KO? If we can KO with this, we win the game. But I, I don't think we can KO with this. I really don't. I really don't think the combination of Brave Bird and Heat Wave can KO. It's not bad. Oh, we get a crit. Hold up. Hold up, Brave Bird. You can die to recoil. I just need you to KO. Oh my lord. Oh my lord. Now I just need a Land Draco Meteor. Now I just need a Land Draco Meteor. Oh my lord. Oh my lord. If I lose to RNG now, I'm going to cry. I'm going to cry. All right, Draco Meteor. If I ever needed a Draco Meteor to land, it be now. It be now. Honestly, Heat Wave can probably KO. I could protect, but the accuracy is the same. We're going for Trick or Meteor. Let's just finish this matchup now. I need it. 90 accuracy? I feel like it's missing. Come on, Trick or Meteor. Do it to him. Do it to him. Do it to him. Dude, I got... Oh, dude, my gut's hurting. My gut's hurting. I feel like I'm missing this. I got an odd feeling. I got an odd feeling. What, yo, what'd I say? what I say? I had an odd feeling. Thanks for playing. God, man, I hate this game. I really hate this game. I really do. Moving on to our second match in 90 accuracy on Draco Meteor. It's a crime. It never lands at 90 accuracy. Get on out my face. We should have won that match. Super upset at that. We're sitting on one. Looking to grab ourselves our first victory. Going up against a Cliff Fable team with King Gambo. They also have Volcarona, Dragonite, Sneasler, and Rillaboom. So if I had to guess, it's probably Grassy Seeds on the Sneasler. Gonna have to deal with that. I think Braviary could be a solid lead here. It's got close combat. It also has Tailwind, which we want to use a lot. And it has Brave Bird, which is great. So I'm going to go into that. And it has Curve Cloak to deal with any fake out users. So Braviary for our lead going to be solid. Um, we could go into Salamence and try to maybe set up a Focus Energy. That could be pretty good. Plus, we have Intimidate. Do we really want to Intimidate if they're going into maybe King Gambit? Probably not. More than likely, I I'd rather not. So I could go Salamence. We're not Salamence. I could go Extra Drill here. I could also go into Gardevoir. I think Extra Drill could be a solid lead because they could probably think that we're swapping early on here. And that is what I'm going to do. I'm going to go Extra Drill here. I'm going to bring Titar. And last but not least, I think Salamence late game could be solid. I mean, they got Fable. Mm, I think I'd rather go Gardevoir. A little bit of Guards action. Yeah. Gardevoir is just... It just hits everything like neutral here, right? Which, which is what we kind of need for a back-end Pokemon. Like, I don't want to go into... Who was I just about to go into? Salamence and like have to deal with like Fable at the end. It's just, it's just not good. It's just not good. Plus Salamence is like mid speed. I mean, a few Pokemon will probably outspeed it. I mean, the Dragonite won't, which is good. But if Dragonite goes into like normal terror, we're sitting in a sticky situation. But they end up going into Rillaboom and, and Volcarona, which isn't bad. I mean, I can protect Extra Drill here. I got a low battery, so hold up. We got it on us. Always plugged in at all times. Always plugged in at all times. Gotta do that. Now I'm charging already, but I'm just gonna go for a tailwind here. I got the cover cloak, and on top of that, we're just gonna protect our extra because there's a high chance that you fake it out because you probably think we're swapping weather. So I'm just gonna protect my X key, my lovely little extra drill. And then just to fake out into Braviary. Don't worry. Wow, the damage absurd. Don't worry, we're cover cloak. And Heatwave better not KO my Braviary. 
It better not KO my Braviary. Thank you, Braviary. I love you. So Tailwind now launches. We could Brave Bird away into Rillaboom if we want to. Or I could just hard swap and save our Braviary. Which honestly isn't bad. There is a chance that they might want to swap here. Hmm. There's a hot chance that they might want to swap. I could just stay in here and Stellar Terror EQ. Who could they swap into here? Stoke up this Brave Bird. Not really anybody if I'm EQ and next to it. Yeah, you know what? We're going to Brave Bird a slot. They could go for Grass Guy, but I'm just going to end up EQ in here. Actually, I'd rather get rid of this. I'd rather get rid of you, Volcarona. So, you know, I'm going to do that. And I'm just going to Stellar Terror EQ. That's a plan. That's a plan. I know Grass trains out. I understand. I understand. But I'm going straight into Stellar Terror here. Straight into the Stellar Terror. The Stellar Terror flies. I'm going to break her down this Volcarona because Volcarona is scaring me a little bit. Of course, you, you, of course you end up protecting this Pokemon. The nice little protect pops out from there. Grass Guy's going to launch in this slot. Do respectable, respectable damage. And EQ is going to launch and do nothing. Wow, I should have stuck with my guns. Should have brave birded that slot. So EQ flies. That tail went up, which is good. EQ going to do negative five damage. And brave bird going to get blocked. So I'm going to brave bird down this rule boom now. And I'm just going to protect by extra because I don't want I don't want you killing me with grassy guide, right? That definitely be terrible. So we'll go for brave bird here, and one that's just pre protecting my boy extra. And we'll go from there. So let's see what they end up doing. Because I don't mind my Braviary dying as long as I get off a of Brave Bird and roll with him and KO it. That'd be nice. So we end up withdrawing Volcarona. You think I'm going after Volcarona? Not happening. Gonna probably EQ'd again, but it's gonna be Fable. So Fable flies out here. Got Iron Head ready to roll. And we just protect the drill. So Extra gets to protect. There's no way you're not going for Grass God in that slot. Cool. Brave Bird flies. Am I dead to this? Both Pokemon probably die and recoil. Rillaboom gone. I'll take that turn all day. So we get rid of the Rillaboom, who was just a massive threat. Um, hmm. They got Fable on the field. They still have Terry. We can bring out Titar right now, which is actually a great Pokemon for us. We can Sand Rush up. Um, damage could be nice. But also going to Gardevoir. I'd rather save the Gardevoir. We're going in Titar here. Titar can deal with Volcarona. Iron Head can deal with Fable. They could go for follow me. There's a chance of that. But um, what terror type could they potentially use? On Fable, it could be water. But Volcarona's going to come out here. We definitely want a Rock Slide. Rock Slizzle can do some monstrous damage. And we'll Iron Head. I think that's a simple call for us. I think that's a real simple call for us. So we'll, so we'll go for Rock Slide. We'll go for Iron Head. They're pretty much forced to Terrasize one Pokemon. They could go for follow me. But if they go for follow me, and if they don't... I feel like we, we're dropping one Pokemon here. I feel like it's a must. Because if they don't Terrasilize Fable, it's dying to Iron Head. If they don't Terrasilize Volcarona, it should die out the Rock Slide. And they're going to end up choosing Cliff Fable here. Into what terror type? Into Straight Steel. The most perfect terror type. I can high horsepower that though later. Which is really good. And if I can get rid of Fable, I mean Gardevoir can kind of do some work this match. So Volcarona is just going to end up protecting. Maybe we get a flinch off here. We got double flinch chance. Iron Head and... Iron Head and... Uh, Rock Slide both have flinch chances here. So that could be really nice. And Iron Head actually doing really respectable damage. Really respectable damage. Of course, you got Rocky Helmet. There's that. Rock Slide's going to also connect, hopefully. Don't miss on me. Don't miss on me. Thank you. Can we get a flinch now? I think RNG has to be on our side with two flinch chances. No, and you go for skill swap. Oh, man. So you're sand rushing now? And I got unaware <laughs> you're sand rushing here? That's real ugly. That's real ugly. You're just sand rushing here. And now you can just moon blast my T Tar down. But with the vest, I feel like we should be fine. I feel like with the vest, we should be fine. The tailwind's gone. We are going to go for Rock Side. And I think we should just swap into Gardevoir here. Yeah, I'm going to swap into Gardevoir. Extra, get on out of here. Maybe I should have went for high horsepower. But I mean, you're outspeeding me now. You are outspeeding me now. So I'll swap the extra. I believe I get my ability back, right? I believe I get my ability back, which is really good. I'm going to go into Gardevoir. Moonblast going to launch here. We should soak with the vest. Yeah, all day. Real bulky Pokemon. And Heatwave's going to launch. 
Good call on me to actually swap my shield there. Rock Slide's gonna connect, which is great news. Volcorn are gonna get pieced up. And from here, let's see who their final Pokemon is. Who you got? Who's your final Pokemon? Hopefully it's something we outspeed. Obviously we're not outspeeding Fable. But I mean, T-Tar in the Sandstorm with the Vest? Oh my lord. Just soaking that Moonblast. That Moonblast, no problem. So Sneeze are going... Oh, Sneeze are going to come out here as their final Pokemon. This is a scary little guy. This is the scariest of guys. Um, could go for low kick and maybe try to KO. Because it could be a follow me out here. And I'm going to go for Expanded Force right here. Let's see how this goes. Follow me does end up coming out here. Close combat is going to launch a KOU, and Spanner Force isn't going to do much to the Sneasler, or not the Sneasler, to this Fable. So, how many turns are left in Sandstorm? That's the real question. That is the real question. Spanner Force is going to launch. Hopefully, we have one more turn left here. Spanner Force doing negative six damage. Do we get one more turn left in Sandstorm? I believe we do. I believe we have one last turn, which actually could be the deciding factor. Because I should get my ability back. And I should be ready to sand rush out and freely EQ here. Actually, you're unburdened. You're going to outspeed me. But still, we're sending this. We got telepathy. We got telepathy. So we're going to do that. We're going to go expanded force into the sneezer slot. Let's see what they want to do here. Unless they go for follow me and like close combat down this uh, X drill. We should be able to win this match. Ah, uh, it's coming down to the wire. I hate this game. So we don't have tail and unburdened sneeze are, I think outspeeds my sand rush action drill. Let's see what you got going here. Let's see what you got here. This is scary, man. What do I do? Oh man. Should have saved her terror. Follow me comes out here. Extra outspeed the sneezer. Go ahead, Extra. Let's go, Extra. I love you. That's massive. That's massive. That is huge. So I feel like you want to go for close combat here. And anyway, we just KO'd the Sneasel one shot. Awesome. Dope. Cool. I was going to say, you probably want to KO the Extra. And then my Gardevoir was just going to expand it for So close match. We bounce back here. We're sitting one and one. Let's go hop through a third and final. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we're sitting one and one. It's time for a winning record. Going up against a Shift Tree and Oracorio team. Actually, it's full Corona Oracorio. Nice little dance combo. Kind of annoys me. We got to figure out a way around it. I like Braviary here for a lead because chances are they just want to go for like a dancer kind of set. So if I can get off like Tailwind right off the rip, that could be really good. We're going to need some speed here. So I'm going to end up doing that. I could honestly just go in like extra T-Tar. That also works decently well. I think I'd rather bring that in the back end. So I'm going to go into Braviary here. Um, do I lead Gardevoir? Could lead Gardevoir. Could also go into like Rotom Mo, who we haven't used today. Could be a solid little Pokemon. You got Volt Switch, you got Leaf Storm, you got Discharge. A lot of different options. Um, hmm. Nah, I don't want Mo. I really don't want Mo. I think I'd rather just go into Salamence. Potentially set up like a Focus Energy. That could be beautiful. And then bring T-Tar extra. Leak him. Gotta be our play. Let's see how this one pans out for us. Let's see, because Oracoria of Volcarona is just... It's a lot to handle. It's a lot. I mean, Revelation Dance paired up with Fiery Dance and Quiver Dance. And just... They just use too many moves. It really gets... It gets real out of hand real quick sometimes. So, I feel like we just have to bring the big dogs. Especially because we're going for a winning record. Even though we already should have a winning record. Hate this game. Remember that, guys. I hate this game. Draco Meteor missing a match number one. Still hurts. The scar's still there, man. It's still there. But they gotta be leading Oricorio and Volcarona here. I feel like that's gotta be lead. If not, I don't I don't mind it. I'd rather them not, to be honest with you guys. But I'm just preparing for the worst. Let's be honest. You gotta prepare for the worst. The lead comes out here. It is actually Shift Tree and Sneezy. Sneezy and Shift Tree. Okay, so they could fake out. I got Cobra Cloak on my lovely little Braviary, which is good. So I could just set up a Tailwind. They could go into close combat. Uh, we should be able to soak it, though. I mean, Grass Terror is not bad. Uh, we're just going to go into a Tailwind here. And I'm going to go for the Focus Energy. Especially them being intimidated. Could see a swap. We could see a Protect. I'm going to go for the Focus Energy. Going for the Focus Energy. It just works so well. 
We love a good old focus energy. Zach pull this off, we got Draco Meteors flying, critting left and right. Especially with a Tailwind, that could be huge if I get off both of them this turn. Oh my lord. Both of them would be a, be a blessing. Be an absolute blessing. Be a steal. Let's see, that's why I'm kind of hoping they like protect one or maybe fake out the Braviari. Let's see what they do here. We're going to end up seeing a Terrasalization. I mean, both of them are intimidated. Both of them are physical attackers. And Shift Tree is going to get this. I'm going to go into Steel. I mean, Heat Wave Ephrus would be nice. But I still have a Steel Teratype from the fly out here. What do you got flying towards me? What do you, what you got cooking here? Fake Out is going to launch. And he's going to go Normal Gem Fake Out for Unburden. And he's going to Fake Out him. Okay. It's actually a smart play. I actually used that on Hitmonlee a couple videos ago. So Tailwind flies out here. Um, Tailwind also launches. Oh, you little sucker. You little sucker. And this thing's going to get a Wind Rider boost. Put its attack stat back to normal. Um, I feel like I'd rather get rid of you. I'm going to Brave Bird you down because Brave Bird should KO you. I'm going to go for a Heat Wave. I mean, Sneasler's minus one. Sneasler might even swap here. Let's be honest. Sneasler might even swap. So Shift Tree's attack stat is back to normal. We both pop the Tailwind. Sneasler's fastest on the board. It is minus one, though, which is decent news. That's the, that's the only good news that we have out here. But I do think it's going to switch. Hopefully, it's into something. It does switch. Hopefully, it's into something that doesn't take Brave Bird too kindly. Let's see. It'll be Oracorio. Okay. I don't mind that. Oracorio comes out here. So, we're going to be able to send a nice little Brave Bird right to the face. Heat Wave's going to launch. And who's dodging this? Oh, it's a Wind Rider move. Oh, my lord. Oh, my lord. Big mistake on Aran. Giant mistake. We got a burn on the bird, though. <laughs> I'll take that. But I always forget that that heat wave is considered a win move. Or Corio dies out. That's that's a pretty big steal there. Um, I still have Sandrush Extra, who can probably deal with this. This what's it called though? This shift tree. Let's see if they go back into Sneezer. They could go back into Sneezer. Um, I'm gonna go next Extra here. If they don't go back into Sneezer, I'm just going to hard swap Braviary and look to just maybe send like a high horsepower into the ship tree slot. But they are going to go into Sneezer here. Uh, protecting Estro, probably your best bet. And Brave Bird into Sneezer down is what I want to do. So, yeah, let's protect. They don't know we have Cobra Cloak. They picked out Salamence turn one. They could just simply attack. There is that option, but I would love to just dump on the Sneezer. I feel like Sneezer just poses such a huge threat in Regulation Age. So if I can just get rid of it this turn, that'd be that'd be really nice. So we'll protect the x -Ski. He is going to go for Fake Out into x -Drill. Awesome. Dope. Cool. Brave Bird should be able to finish off Sneezer. Go ahead, Brave Do Do your job, man. Let's go. Let's go. That's a big-time KO. And now we're sitting here with Shift Tree on the field. They're forced to throw out their final Pokemon. It's most likely Volcarona. I mean, Titar and Extra could get some work done here. Knock off flies. That's cool. We end up taking out my Brave Alright, All right, fine. So 2v2. They got Terra. We still have Terra. Shift Tree's plus one on attack. And Extra ready to, ready to throw some moves. And you got Weavile. So that's, that's another fake out user. Come on, man. Chill on me. Another fake out user. I could go Flying Terra so we can send EQs freely here. Um, is that what I want to do? Is that what I want to do? Yeah, it is kind of what I want to do. I'm going to do that and send an EQ. You could fake out again. A lot of fake outs going. But I'm ready to send it. I like her typings here. I mean, I understand flying typing. We're going to be weak to ice. But I feel like if we can just, like, you know, land one EQ, we all kind of just gets pimp slapped. Which is great. Or even one rock slide. So we're going to pop this terror. We just want to post that, that threat right now of just attacking. So Titar Extra Lake King combo for the winning record. Looking to do it. For the Jeans online gaming community, baby. Come on. Come on. Let's see what my boys got. EQ's gonna actually go first. Wow, no fake out. That's actually perfect. EQ's gonna slap up. Say see you later, shift tree, and that's pretty much game. That's pretty much game. I feel like Caesar's gotta be using close combat in the Titar here. If I had to guess. Or he could be going for an ice move in Astral. Few different options. You end up going for knockoff, and that's fine because we end up soaking and rock slizzle for the win. 
Rock Slizzle for the win. Let's go, ladies and gentlemen. So 2 1 winning record today. Probably should have had 3 0, but hey, we dominated with this Brave Yari team. There you go, ladies and gentlemen, Bravey Ari in ranked regulation age. This Pokemon really thrived out today, setting Tailwind up in multiple battles, picking up KOs with close combat, picking up KOs with Brave Bird, doing everything it needed to do. The only thing that it didn't do today was Pop Defiant, but we didn't really verse any Intimidate users, so Bravey Ari, again, killing it in today's video. We grab ourselves a 2-1 winning record. Should have been 3-0, perfect record. God dang, Draco Meteor on Salamence. Really hurts the soul. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread spots every day, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.